Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about my top 10 cool toned neutral eyeshadow palettes. So if you want to see what the best of the best are, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. Now, if you are a regular to my channel, these palettes should not be a surprise to you, but I did want to create a nice guide for those of you who are looking for some nice, cooler toned palettes. Now, if you don't know, I really love cool toned eyeshadow palettes. They are my favorite and they are becoming more and more popular. For a while, it was pretty tough to get your hands on a good cool tone neutral palette. So I've narrowed it down to my top 10. And I will say not very many affordable options in this video, just because I feel like the uh, drugstore market has not been able to really master the cool tone formula, but I'm still gonna share my top 10. So let's get into it. This is in no particular order, just alphabetical order of the top 10. So the first one that I picked out is not readily available, but it is the ABH Sultry palette. Sometimes they'll come out with some deals where this is still available, but this is one of the best cool toned palettes. This is actually my second one that I'm going through. I keep this in my makeup kit as well. And the quality on this is spectacular. The shimmers on here are really glam. And this came out at the wrong time when it came out a couple of years ago. Ago. This was not a color story that people were into, but first of all, I love the glittery packaging and the color story is so on trend right now that they were very smart to re-release this this past holiday season in a couple bundle deals because it is actually up with the trends now. The quality on this is spectacular and the colors that they chose are just so beautiful for many looks. Now you do see you have one warm pop right here, but if you take that away, it really is a glam neutral palette. If you are able to get your hands on this palette, I highly recommend it. It's probably, it's probably my second or third favorite cool toned neutral palette. The next one that I have is from Charlotte Tilbury. Now this one, it's it's a bit expensive for what it is, but it does create one of my favorite all time cool toned looks. So this is the Golden Goddess from Charlotte Tilbury. It's not very golden and it looks quite boring and I wouldn't necessarily recommend this over other palettes in this video because it's very high priced. The value is not the best, but the look that you get with this is just so beautiful. Again, the quality is not top notch from Charlotte Tilbury in this quad either, but it's just a look that I really enjoyed. And this was one of my first cool toned palettes that I fell in love with and it's very beautiful. So if you are looking in the Charlotte Tilbury line, for a cool toned palette in a little quad form that's easy to travel with, this is the one that I would recommend. So these are going to be really the only true affordable options here. I have two from ColourPop and ColourPop does a very nice job with their cooler toned palettes. So if you are balling on a budget and you need something more affordable to add cooler toned options to your collection, definitely look in the direction of ColourPop. I know I don't even have all of them, but these are my top two that I've loved for a long time now. So the first one is Going Coconuts. So this is gonna be the most affordable option in this video. It is a nine pan palette. Mine are a little bit mismatched because they fell one day and I just kind of, through them in here, but the quality is really nice here. You do have a couple more warmer toned colors in here, but for the most part, I would say that this palette definitely leans more so on the cool toned end and quality is really great for the price that you're paying. And it really narrows down some essential neutral colors to create a look that are great in the cool tone family. And I just know you will love this if you haven't tried it out yet. Now say you're looking for something that has more options. The Going Coconut, it leaned a little bit more neutral neutral but this guy has more gray tones and just much more just a, and a larger range of the cooler tones in general and this is also from color fox oh my goodness this is also from ColourPop. this is the stone cold fox palette so this has all of the colors that are in the going coconuts palette and then some you know you have more of a plummy leaning row here you have more of a gray leaning row you do have the going coconuts kind of similar brownie tones here but you just have a lot more options in here and i think this is 
a great option to add a lot of different cool tones in your collection without breaking the bank. You can usually get this on a pretty good deal and the quality on this is really awesome. This was one of my favorite palettes last year. It really shocked me when they came out with this because it was one of their first cooler tone palettes and they really killed it with this and I know I actually got a lot of you guys to purchase this because so many of you were dipping into cool tones for the first time last year and this was a great palette to start off with and so many of you guys told me that you loved it because it's awesome. I mean the next one if you've watched like two or three videos a month you should know that I was going to talk about the Natasha Denona Glam palette. Now in my opinion this is the ultimate cool toned neutral palette. This is probably my number one recommendation to anybody getting into cooler tones. Obviously, if you're more on a budget, I'd push you in the direction of ColourPop, but if you're okay with spending a little bit of money here, this is where you need to go. So Natasha Denona has the best of the best quality, and this is such a good deal for her quality. It's about $60, $65, and you have all of the essential cool tone neutrals that you need in this. Some leaning more brown, more gold, champagne, gray. You have all of the everyday tones that you need here. The quality is absolutely impeccable, like I said, and the value is just awesome. For Natasha Denona, she has the best colors in here, the best shimmers, the most easy to use mattes. So I'm just going to say here or now, if you are looking for a good, essential, cool toned, neutral eyeshadow palette, this is the one that I would recommend you. And it was hard to get for a while. It sold out. So they recently did just restock it everywhere and it's worth every penny. I know a lot of you guys waited until the Sephora sale to pick it up. But honestly, this is a palette that is even worth the full price, if you ask me. Now, I do have an honorable mention. This one isn't actually in this top 10, but Natasha Denona also does have kind of a mini glam palette. So it's called the mini glam and it's her take on a miniature version of it with corresponding colors. The colors aren't the same that are in the big one. So if you want to try out the Natasha Denona formula, this is going to be $25 and it's a great way to get a taste of the formula and also stay in the neutral cool tone vibes. The next one was the very first cool tone palette that I ever fell in love with. And at the time that I fell in love with this palette, I didn't even realize I liked it because it was cool tone. I couldn't figure out the reason why I kept grabbing for it until one day I realized, oh, I really like cool tones. And this was way before cool tones were in style. It was warm tone central when I got this palette. So this is from my beloved Pat McGrath. This is, again, a very expensive palette, but in my opinion, it's definitely worth picking up if you're into this color story. So it's not gonna be for everybody. This is the OG Mothership One Subliminal palette. And I just feel like I've gotten some of the prettiest looks from Pat McGrath with this palette. Now, if you aren't familiar with Pat McGrath, the palettes are extremely luxe, extremely heavy, and ugh, opening it up. How beautiful is this palette? I'm telling you, I've gotten some of my favorite looks ever from this palette. You have all of the cool toned essential matte colors that you need. And then you have her Blitz Astral formulas that change up the whole look while still keeping the look very cool tone. It's a unique palette. I haven't come across another palette that's like this. So I can guarantee you if you have this palette, you're not gonna find another one like this in your collection. It was so unique for the time that it came out and it really is still a unique palette in my collection. It is the best of the best. Again, it is so expensive. You do only get 10 shades, so it's not like my number one recommendation for somebody looking into cooler toned neutrals. But if you're looking for something that's unique to add to your collection, these four shades right here are going to make it worth it. They pair so well with the other cool toned mattes that you have. All right, we're gonna get into the palette that I'm wearing right now. Now this palette is newer to me, but I've really been enjoying my time with it and I do think it's a very unique palette as well. So this is the Scott Barnes Glamazon palette and this is what it looks like inside. And the reason why I'm featuring it in today's video is because it's such a unique cool toned palette. I don't have another palette that has these colors in my collection all wrapped up into one happy family. So I'm wearing this one right now. I went very, very gray today. I even popped some of this dark green in the outer corner as well. I will have a tutorial for this on my Instagram coming very soon. So if you want to see how I got this look, it will be on there. But 
I think, you know, if you have your essential cool toned palettes, this is another one to step up your game because it has, it's more colorful than the palettes that I'm featuring. I stuck pretty neutral, so this one is kind of the out of the box one that's going to fit those of you who like colors. Scott Barnes has really interesting textures and his mattes are very easy to use. Now, I said this in my most recent monthly palette rankings. This is a beautiful palette. I really enjoyed the quality. I really enjoyed the looks that I've gotten and the range of looks that you can get from this because of the pops you have here. You can totally go a different direction with this navy, with this purple, with this dark green, or you can go very traditional, like the looks that you can get from the other palettes here. Um, but these are expensive. This is about $80 and Scott Barnes always has sales. So I do not recommend picking this up at full price, but if you can get it on a sale, it's definitely worth it. It's a very unique palette and you can get some gorgeous looks from this one. I'm really excited to be sharing this next one with you guys because I do love supporting my indie brands. The Sydney Grace Enduring Love Palette is amazing. Now you do have a couple semi-warmer tones in here, but for the most part, this is a cooler toned palette. It's like a subtle cool toned palette. So if you're not quite as comfortable with shades leaning more on the gray side, this is perfect for you because you do have this top row up here that can warm it up just a little wee little bit. So we'll start off with the quality. Sydney Grace has impeccable quality as most indie brands tend to do. The mattes are superiorly I don't even know if that's a word, but <laughs> the pigmentation on the mattes are superior. Same thing with the shimmers. They are like creamy, thick, butteriness, super reflective on the eyelid, just top-notch quality here. Lots of interesting color combinations that you can do with this palette. And the best part is they actually offer this palette in two different depths. So you can get a lighter one for obviously lighter skin tones like myself. That's of course the one that I have now. And you can also get one that has transitional shades for deeper skin tones. So what they do, the difference between the lighter skin tones and the deeper skin tone palettes are the transition shades are deeper to fit. A deeper complexion. But anyways, this is a fabulous cool tone palette that I don't think a lot of people really realize is a cool tone palette and they don't really talk about it as a cool tone palette, but it is and it's wonderful and you're supporting a great small company as well. I couldn't get away without mentioning this quad from Tom Ford. This is a classic from Tom Ford. This is a nude dip, but it really is a great introduction to cool tones. So obviously you have to be a luxury lover to pick this one up. It's not something I necessarily would say this is the number one belly you need to have if you're looking to add cool tones to your collection. You have to be into luxury makeup and you also kind of have to have some accompanying colors to pair with this because it's a look, you create one whole look with it. It's absolutely stunning, it's great for every day, but I find it really fun to pair this with some other palettes as well. And I mean, this is just, This is a Tom Ford classic right here. It doesn't look like much, but it really is so beautiful on the eyelids and it really is an approachable way to get into cool tones. So I do recommend this one. All right, very last one. This one is different from the other palettes that I'm mentioning just because it's, it's of a different kind of color family here. So this is the Vizzy Art Paris Edit palette. And I love their edit line because it is so much more affordable than their big 12 pen palettes. And you know, Vizzy Art is not cheap, but this is a way to try the palettes in a more affordable way. I believe they're around $44. Now the Paris Edit is going to lean a little bit more on the plummy side. And these are, these are some good cool tones. So these aren't necessarily neutral, uh, but I'm gonna count them because they do have some neutral tones in here. And I do think that this is a unique way to pull some more cool tones into your collection because they run a little bit more plum. You have some pinks, you have some peaches. So I just think overall, it's a really unique palette to what you're gonna have in your collection. And 
I wish Fizzy Art would pull out some more interesting color stories like these because this one is so unique. It's so beautiful. It's a great value. It's great quality as Fizzy Art always has. And it's so cute and little. It's just perfect. So this is a nice one to add in your collection. If you do have a number of the other palettes that I mentioned in today's video, this one is quite unique. And I actually want to add more palettes that kind of have a color story similar to this in my collection because I really don't have that many. So yeah. So you guys go there we have it those are my top 10 neutral cool toned palettes that i love so dearly and really just for me i find to be the most flattering the most easy to use and i always create some of my favorite looks with colors leaning this way so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful if you aren't subscribed to my channel already i would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and i will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.